Oh man, I can't believe Diablo 3 finally came out, Joey. I'm so excited to play. I just, there's so many classes to shoot. Joey? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, hold on. All right, let's see here. Let me just, let me just type all this in real quick. And that should do it. Click. BJ? Andrew? What's going on? I'm misinformed. Go! Cool. Ooh, got him. Thank you for calling Blizzard customer support. If you're calling to bitch, please press 1. If you're calling to moan, please hold. Fuck it. On to games that might actually be playable on release date. Sony has announced their Smash Brothers like clone, PlayStation All-Stars <laughs> Battle Royale. This Smash Brothers ripoff, as you so aptly put it, as a confirmed uh, roster of characters including Kratos, Fat Princess, Sweet Tooth, Parappa the Rapper, Sly Cooper, Colonel Raddick. Well, the IMDb site has apparently listed um, Nathan Drake's voice actor Nolan North, Solid Snake's voice actor David Hayter, as well as the VP of Super Moves, Gavin Butler himself, for being credited. Whether or not they'll be playable characters, or just having Gavin Butler be like the announcer guy. I don't know. I'd play as Kevin Butler. I'd play as Kevin Butler. I'll kick your Kevin Butler. I'll kick your Kevin Butler. I beat you to it. Uh, I hate you. Buttception. <sighs> On to other stories we didn't research and know nothing about. Max Payne 3 was released this month. To critical acclaim and critical failure. We didn't actually play it. No. We don't know anybody who did. Because <sighs> Diablo 3 yeah. came out. I'm going to stick... My truth inside of you, with the information that I'm about to give. South Park and the Stick of Truth is going to be an RPG-style, Final Fantasy-esque kind of game. You don't know that this game's going to be anything like Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy turn-based... <sighs> South Park, Stick of Destiny, will be a turn-based RPG, wherein you play a new kid at South Park, interacting with all your favorites, like Stan, Kyle, Kenny... And even Cartman Butters. Trying to find the stick of destiny. We think. Not much has been confirmed about it. But it looks awesome. I'm gonna buy it. And speaking of Halo, Halo 4, there's a new trilogy, obligatory management. Oh, <coughs> oh do, done. We have, do we have a trailer we could pop up right here? I uh, don't think so. Oh, you know what? Uh, sorry. Here's a picture of Master Chief jerking himself off. Uh, to Cortana. Because, you know, he's trying to hit that. AI booty! MMO news. Guild Wars 2 is coming out soon. A lot of people are excited, including myself. What's the release date on that? I have no idea, but it's soon. <laughs> it's coming soon. Well, what is the release date on that? Let's find out. <clears throat> you find out, I'll talk Let about it. Let us fact check. I was in the beta. It was fun. I'm gonna check it out. Whoa, you were in the beta? I'm in the beta. Talk about that. Like, the, the, the way the skills work... It's interesting, it's based off what weapon you have equipped. The basic Blizzard World of Warcraft model. Yeah, but you know what, that works. But it works, it works perfectly fine. Didn't work really for Swotor. Lost their boat. Oh man, I almost bought that game too. Ah, uh, good thing you didn't. Yeah. So, Guild Wars 2, uh, to be announced, 2012. It's still so to be announced. That's not coming out this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The one thing I do respect Guild Wars 2 for is, you buy it, it's yours. It you, don't have to you don't have to pay There's monthly. There's no this. monthly subscription. Big point in its favor. It gets a big <sighs> triangle thingy. You get a gold star, Guild Wars. A for Andrew. That looks like the Assassin's Creed symbol. <laughs> I don't know. In other MMO news, Bethesda's 
announced an Elder Scrolls MMO. I'm not sure. It's going to be a third person Elder Scrolls game with just that just plays like World of Warcraft. I mean, that's like, kind of the, the that's the marker for everything these days, isn't it? World of Warcraft. Yeah, but they did it right. They, so <laughs> they did it right. They did it well, and they you keep do doing it, it pretty well. But I don't know if I don't know if what Elder Scrolls needs is an MMO. Thousands of people playing it, millions of people playing yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, something. Just add co-op to Skyrim. I would love that. <laughs> that's that's the ticket, really. Co-op to Skyrim. Co-op a a co-op game, not an MMO. Exactly. We don't have a trailer for uh, the Elder Scrolls one, but uh, damn you know, it. we're gonna we're, in, we're gonna insert some screens right here where he's fighting some kind of uh, lizard uh, monster triceratops. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that's about, but hey, it's an Elder Scrolls game, so mm, as long as the reason why you're doing it is epic. I can make get sure that you hit that weak point for massive damage. Ah. Am I current or am I current? I don't get it. I know. Aim for his nuts. <laughs> um. I noticed in your notes, all you did was write down, uh, a drawing of a dick. Thanks everyone for watching. Remember to like, favorite, and comment on this video. Down there. You should tune in to our new Blogspot uh, site, themisinformedbros.blogspot.ca. Oh, that's right. We're going to be posting up our new podcast, uh, The Misinformed Bros Cast. The, cha the name might change. Hopefully. <laughs> it hasn't been set in Hopefully stone yet. Hopefully it will change. That's kind of lame. I like but it'll it. be a great podcast. You should definitely tune in, listen to that. Anyways, I'm PJ. I'm Andrew. You've just been misinformed. Old School Minute, you should definitely check out Evo Search for Eden on the SNES. Very cool game, spore-like. I think you'll like it. That's it.